Hey guys, I'm going to review the latest video by Fully Raw Christina. It's called My Current Fitness Routine 17 Years Raw Vegan. Aloha, my friends. Christina here, and I'm so Aloha. happy to share a new video with you today to talk about my current fitness routine. I've had a lot of people ask me recently what I've been doing differently to shape and tone my body, and so I thought it would be a little different and interesting to share with you my workout routine. I used to run anywhere from 5 to sometimes 12 miles a day. I loved running. Oh, that explains the wrinkly skin. From what I understand, she's 36 now. Back when I made a video about her many years ago, she was 32, I believe, and she already had gray hair and the wrinkles were crazy. She removed that video later because she didn't put on any makeup from what it seemed like in that video. She was trying to show her natural self, which means that she 100% dyes her hair, except if she found some magical fruitarian raw vegan cure against gray hair. Probably not because the raw veganism is what caused the gray hair in the first place. It brought me so much joy and it invigorated me. And then when I was living in Bali... I she already had a lot of gray hairs when she was 32. Now, four years later, all of her hair is probably gray. I was running. I tripped. Also, those are most definitely extensions. I fell <laughs> and my knee just happened to fall on a pointed rock that busted my knee open and I had to get stitches on it. So after that happened, at that point in my journey, I ended up venturing into other forms of exercise. Why would you film these kind of clips? What are you trying to show here? What's the purpose of it? Are you looking for a new boyfriend because the other guy left you? Or whatever happened between them, I'm not really sure. Rather than seeing that as something that happened to me, I looked at it as something that happened for me and I started- Why would you stand under the roof, have water dripping on you and laugh into the camera? <laughs> started trying other exercises and workouts. I started incorporating yoga, Pilates. What's the purpose of this shot? For real, okay. You could explain the other ones uh, somehow, maybe, but this? These hit workouts, and now I'm at the point in my journey where I'm not afraid to actually try weightlifting and CrossFit and other fun things. If you've been watching my Instagram stories and you might have seen that, yes, I've been getting into lifting a little bit, which for me is kind of crazy considering I used to always be scared of lifting weights, but it's been so fun. Naturally, as a woman, I don't know about being scared of it, but uh, it does cause infertility, which means that you should be kind of naturally scared of it, but you should definitely naturally know that you should avoid it. It's very recent, very recent that women started going to the gym and generally exercising, running and all of this garbage. A hundred years ago, it would have been unthinkable. People, especially women, would have thought that you have some kind of mental issues if you told your girlfriends one day that you're gonna go out for a run <laughs> for no reason at all, they would have looked at you as if you're crazy. Or imagine 50 years ago, your boyfriend goes to the gym, which is when a few people went to the gym. Obviously, it only started like 20 years ago and the majority really only since the last 10 years. But there were a few bodybuilders 50 years ago. If you would have said to your girlfriends that uh, you're gonna go to the gym with him, they would have looked at you as if you're completely nuts and so healthy for me. It's been very empowering for me because... What is healthy about it? Name one thing. Name one thing, anything at all, that is healthy about any kind of exercise. It doesn't have to be weightlifting, it can be running, whatever. Just one. I'm gonna go raw vegan for one year, no cheating at all, if you can name one health benefit of exercising. I'm not joking at all. Lifting weights is not something that I had confidence to do before. It scared me. And so I have ventured into this new realm of being able to explore different workouts. And I'm really excited to show you today how I've been mixing it up and how I... It is something that you have to explore seeing as it doesn't come naturally. It's something that you make up. It's man-made. I've been differentiating my workouts on a daily and on a weekly basis. I do also want to point out that I've been a raw vegan for 18 years. My diet has not... 18 years? In the title of the video, it said 17 years. <laughs> She's just making up numbers right there on the spot. <laughs> changed. Nothing about my life has changed in a drastic way except for how I've been mixing up my workouts. I'm going to be talking all about this in this video and I'm going to be sharing how I refuel my body after a workout. Yeah, I want to see that. And uh, 
I don't believe that she's been raw vegan for 18 or 17 years, whichever it is, it's probably going to be 20 years in the next video. I get that this is her business, this is how she makes money, she wants people to believe that she's been raw vegan for so long. The ex-raw vegans that I have interviewed, they said that after maximum two years, they were pretty much dying. You can't really push raw veganism for longer than a year or two. Afterwards, it's just absolute misery, but she's uh, standing here, working out and uh, being all happy, joyful for the camera. Obviously, it's an act because, as I said, it's her business. I get it, but uh, the thing is that it's very dangerous to recommend this. There's actually going to be people out there, especially some women, who will believe her and try to go raw vegan. So without further ado, let's dive in. I've been trying to create a weekly balance in my workout routines. I mix it up often with sculptor hit classes, yoga, hybrid CrossFit, sauna sessions, running the stairs, nature walks or hikes, and more. One of my favorite ways to start the day. Nature walks or hikes, okay, the rest sounded pretty stressful. Is with a sculpt class. I typically go to these sculptor active yoga classes approximately four to five times a week. It's a yoga class, but with bands and sometimes weights, and it's a little faster paced than your regular yoga. I've created such a strong community of friends within this morning class, and I absolutely love it. I get in a good sweat, the music is so fun, and being in a group setting keeps me much more motivated than if I were working out alone. I've been doing regular yoga for years now, but Sculpt in particular I've been doing for about three years since I moved here on island. Something new and different that I've been doing lately are hybrid CrossFit classes. These classes are like- That looks like some infertility workout, how to cause infertility. CrossFit, but focus more on lifting weights with an emphasis on technique, form, balance, and functionality. When I first started these types of workouts, I was extremely intimidated. I started small and worked my way up to be able to handle heavier weights. I do these hybrid CrossFit trainings once or twice a week. If I can't make a group class, I'll go in for a private session. I don't get what the purpose of this is. ...session so that I can focus on individual technique and form. I really like to make sure that I'm doing these exercises properly. It really does help in the beginning to get specialized attention so that there are no injuries. What I love most about these hybrid workouts is that I am proving <laughs> to myself I can do... The animals are probably looking at her thinking, who punished you? Who made you suffer? Why are you doing this? You're not doing this because you want to, obviously, because you're suffering. So what did you do? And then they look at her and feel sad for her. What I never thought I could do. I'm doing deadlifts. I'm doing squats. I'm doing all of these things that once looked so impossible to me, but I'm doing them and I'm mastering them slowly. It Great. Awesome. You're 36 years old. You're childless. Without the makeup and the hair dye, you would look like you're 60 or 70 years old. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Continue. It feels so good to empower myself in this way, and I feel like I am becoming stronger every single week. Every single week, I'm adding on an additional five pounds of weight that I'm working with. When I'm deadlifting, I'm lifting more than my body weight now. I started with a 45 pound bar and now I'm up to lifting 135 pounds. And so what uh, What did you achieve? You're lifting man-made weights for no reason at all except to age you even more as if you're not doing enough damage with the raw vegan diet. Pounds. I don't compare myself to anyone else. I say raw vegan diet because that's what she eats officially. I think that she probably eats some, uh, at least, maybe raw milk. Maybe she's really into raw food. Maybe that's what she's doing. She's into raw animal foods, raw fish. I could totally imagine her. She probably eats some raw fish now and then. And she eats a lot of raw fruit. Plus, she takes a lot of supplements, crazy amounts of supplements. There's probably a lot of animal supplements in between there, such as collagen. On this journey, I'm merely celebrating each and every step of my own progress. When I first started lifting weights, I had this silly idea in my mind that I would bulk up or get very muscular, but that's not what happened. I just got more toned and it's been easier for me to- Well, yeah, firstly, it's because you're a woman, your body doesn't run on testosterone. Secondly, on a raw vegan diet, it's incredibly hard to gain any kind of muscle. Lose fat and build muscle. If anything, it's taught me how important it is to add weight resistance to your training. It doesn't have to be a lot or even every day, but simply adding in some resistance. Yeah, but the training for what? What's the purpose of it in general? What's the purpose of the training? Resistance or weights into your workout routine will make a difference. I think I mentioned before that I used to be a long distance. A difference for what? What's the purpose? Distance runner. I would run anywhere from 5 to 12 miles a day. But I did not... Why did you do that? What's the purpose? Humans in nature run when they're running away from an animal because they don't want to be eaten. Which they're usually gonna fail at because we're much slower than four-legged animals. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your community. By the way... Look at how the dogs are just chilling. You film them, but you just don't realize what a natural animal's life is like. They just want to play and be comfortable all day long. That's what 
all animals want, including humans, you're also just an animal. Hey, did I mention that most of the spaces I tend to exercise in are outdoors? If they're not outdoors, there are windows open with access to fresh air and That's good. There are beautiful views. In addition to my morning yoga sculpt classes and my hybrid CrossFit training, I go to run. What's the point of running the stairs? Oh my God. Okay, at least she's not doing it inside of some gym, but uh, really there's not much of a difference. She's just getting more oxygen, which is good, but you're going to destroy your joints by walking stairs. It's an unnatural movement. There's no such thing in nature. The stairs once a week. There's an epic set of concrete outdoor stairs nearby and it's surrounded by nature. There's rarely anyone running the stairs, so I use it as an opportunity for me to get in an extra workout whenever possible. I'll t why? What is the purpose? You still haven't told us why you exercise. Typically go for 30 minutes or until my legs feel like jelly. I think functional fitness is so great. Much <laughs> Jelly. Place outdoors Jelly is that yummy. Or something <laughs> like this. Use it as an opportunity or inspiration to move your body. <laughs> At least once a week. She even works out in the sauna, man. Oh my god. Week, I will enjoy what I like to call sauna sessions in my garage. Usually, I'll enjoy a sauna session if I'm not able to. Nah, man. Uh, this is just wrong. Uh, oh my god. Uh, saunas are incredibly unhealthy in and of themselves. I guess that this is a. Uh, red light sauna from what it seems like it's incredibly stressful to the body the stress hormones go through the roof and if you work out in a sauna what do you expect is going to happen man her adrenaline shoots up then the cortisol afterwards that's why she looks so incredibly drained she's just absolutely draining her life force out of herself again for no reason to make a yoga class or if i can't make a crossfit class or even if i just feel like working out by myself that day usually when i work out in my sauna i make up my own routine and i listen to my body and do whatever feels good sometimes i listen to my body and do whatever feels good oh yeah so working out in a sauna feels good to you right yeah you go in there it feels terrible then you start working out it feels even worse. You feel like you're dying, essentially. You kind of are, really, on a biochemical state. Why do you lie? Is it for yourself? Is it for the views? Do you want to simply live in denial? What's the purpose of all of this? Why do you hate your life so much? Why do you hate your body? Her whole body, but especially her legs, look incredibly skinny, abnormally skinny. Sometimes I'll do squats. Sometimes I'll use bands or weights. Sometimes I'll just stretch. It really is just free flow for me. I'm a big advocate of listening to your body during workouts. Only you- Listening to my body during workouts? <laughs> what is she talking about? Oh my god. Uh, you can't be listening to your body while doing workouts because if you would listen to your body at all, then you wouldn't be doing workouts in the first place. Nobody who exercises listens to their body. It doesn't make any sense. Nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants their bodies to be tortured. And what you're doing here is extreme torture. You will know how much you can push yourself safely. I never try to exhaust- <laughs> Oh my God, it's so contradictory. I can't watch this video anymore. Push yourself, listen to your body. She listens to her body supposedly, but she pushes herself, which literally means that she's not listening to her body. Listen to yourself, man. I cross myself, I take breaks, I practice breath work, I stretch, I play music, I dance. Sometimes I even cry or have an emotional release. I think it is all very healthy. There are so many different benefits <laughs> to working out and moving your body. This is the funniest video I've ever seen. I in my infrared sauna <laughs> because I think that sweating is very healthy for the body. A lot of people ask- It's just pure irony and contradictions throughout the whole video. Ask me about my sauna. I have a clear light sauna and if you're interested in more information, that is in the description below for you. My last and final workout- This is pretty much the only good thing that she does. ...that I have been taking advantage of lately has been just spending more time outside adventuring- And of course she has a little dog because she doesn't have a child. ...adventuring in nature. I think it is so refreshing to be outside, to go for a walk, to go on a hike with friends. She lives in a beautiful place, but it's a waste. Imagine if she ate raw meat, she actually had a boyfriend, husband, whatever. They had a lot of children. She has a great property from what I understand. Her children could grow up there. So much space, so much nature. 
it would be ideal. You could give your children a perfect life, pretty much, if you didn't live the way you do, obviously. Or even to go to the beach and do some fun exercises whenever you can. Sometimes I'll take Coco for walks on trails. I've been enjoying different hikes with some of my good friends. And being outside is just such a great way to connect with people. And it's so fun to do impromptu workouts with your loved ones in any outdoor setting. You get in good laughs, you get to enjoy fresh air, fresh sunshine, and more. These are all healing modalities. Yeah, being outside, grounding, walking through nature, that's all great. And that would actually reduce the stress in your life. But uh, working out in these great spots is what's destroying your health. And just about your physique or looking good. One of the main reasons I like to work out daily or move my body daily is because... You don't look good. Uh, your physique looks like that of an infertile woman. Because it is also so good for my emotional, mental, and spiritual health. Life can get stressful and we forget to practice certain modalities that might regulate... Life can get stressful. Oh yeah, I just got out of a workout in a sauna. <laughs> but uh, life can get stressful sometimes. <laughs> our systems. When I work out, my body is forced to naturally practice extra breath work. It's good for your circulation and for your heart health. Exercise is a wonderful tool that you can use to- I don't know what she means, but yeah, you have to breathe a lot harder when you're exercising because you need more oxygen. You can use to reconnect back to yourself and gather focus when needed. After my workouts- Whoa, are those her dark eye circles? I understand that there could be some shade, but yeah, maybe she didn't have makeup on or not as much or I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it was after the beach. Crazy. Still though, that mostly looks like her actual skin. Insane. Insane. I usually tend to refuel with fresh yeah, you could see. smoothie Yeah, yeah, no, no. Look, by the nose. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I may have seen some worse dark eye circles such as from Noe Craig. But uh, this isn't the top three. This is absolutely horrible. Terrifying to look at. One of my favorite fresh juices that I have been enjoying All the way. is freshly Here. squeezed I mean, sugar loaf pineapple juice. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, it's heaven. There is nothing quite like fresh pineapple juice. Not only is it hydrating, but it is also a great way to... All of these juices could be beneficial but if that's all that you consume, then it's of course actually very unhealthy. Plants don't have over 15 micronutrients. It's malnutrition. To refuel your body after you've been moving. I've even been growing my- You don't really refuel your body. All that you do is consume a bunch of sugar and yeah, there's some minerals in there. Yeah, it's good for electrolytes, but that's not gonna refuel your body. It would be raw meat, actual protein and animal fat. You need a lot of cholesterol. It's basically a very clean, raw and vegan protein source. I also supplement with B12 and vitamin D3 because I like to cover my bases. You can't supplement with vitamin D3 because that's an animal hormone. I like to add different greens and fruits into my smoothies. Sometimes I make banana dragon fruit smoothie bowls and sometimes I'll make banana mango spirulina smoothie bowls. I like to use what fruits I- Spirulina is very poisonous. Don't do that. I have in season to keep my smoothie bowls exciting. I think how you refuel your body after a workout is just as important as the workout itself. Take care of your temple. What you put into your body matters. I like to make sure I'm putting in the most nutritious fruits and vegetables into my body after exercising. The most nutritious fruits and vegetables? That doesn't make any sense because they don't have over 15 micronutrients. <laughs> I feel even better afterwards and I- Oh man, it's so sad. She's sitting there in the corner with her cat and dog kind of trying to replicate a male and a female child. Ah, oh, it's really sad, man. It's a really sad life. I'm even more ready it's a tragedy. to on the rest of my day. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. If you have liked this video and if it has inspired you to mix up your workouts, please give this video a thumbs up. Your video was good because it's entertaining to see how delusional a human being can get. As I said, Plants don't have over 15 micronutrients, which means that by default it's going to cause malnutrition, no matter if you do raw veganism or eat beyond meat, whatever garbage people eat nowadays. A raw vegan diet is going to give you more minerals, seeing as you're consuming all of these uh, raw fruits, for example, and all of the juices. And that's because she has uh, the money to actually buy all of this stuff and the juicers and whatnot all of the supplements that she uses, she's really trying to do her best.
which is still basically the worst diet wise because no matter what you do you're always going to fail which is why i said i don't believe that she's been raw vegan for 18 years forget about it i don't even believe that you could be raw vegan for five years you would be so incredibly sick you would be bedridden after five years i get it her channel is a business she used to make a lot of money back when veganism was more popular nowadays her videos don't get so many views the cost for her retreat used to be around five thousand dollars from what i remember it was crazy and a lot of people used to pay nowadays um, more people are waking up to the dangers of veganism thankfully thanks for watching